Hi everyone, Linda here. I'm an independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here today to share uh, my quarterly club and a little stock up haul that I was waiting on. If you watched my previous video, my what I've been warming, you, I did mention that I was waiting for my little stock up haul and that when it got here, I would do this video. Uh, I also mentioned that this is going to be my last video, uh, probably for the rest of July. Uh, I do ha have company coming and I uh, will be busy in a way quite a bit. Um, but I am in a, a group on Facebook for SFR and for those of you who are new to Sensi, Sensi Family Reunion that takes place at the end of July in the States in Charlotte, I think. Uh, and so they launch and give us sneak peeks. And so we have people on the ground there that are sharing that with those of us who aren't participating. And so, um, yeah, so I do want to do something with that and share that. So I'm hoping I'll be able to do a quick video at that point. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I, I have a personal Instagram, but I also have a Sensi Instagram. And on the Sensi Instagram, when I get a little tip or spoiler, I will put it up on my Instagram. Like I put the cover of the new catalog on there when I got that little tidbit. So if you follow me on Instagram, on my Sensi Instagram, you may see other things. But anyway, I won't be around. Um, uh, August 1st, consultants get to buy the kit uh, the new kit and the catalogs and everything so I will be definitely ordering that in August so but even in August my uh, granddaughters and my daughter and my brother are all still going to be here so it'll definitely be slim pickings for videos from me for most of the summer but I'll do my best <laughs> anyway <laughs> Uh, I, I'm gonna have to have a sip and sniff in August. My granddaughters have I talked to them today and they're 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 last year they were here and of course last year the, we switched catalogs in August. Now they pushed it out to September. So but we'll still know what's coming and not coming and we'll have that 10% off in August. So we'll be able to get a great deal on the summer spring summer bars and stock up. And uh, but they want to sip and sniff while they're here, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to order my kit and catalogs August 1st so they can squeeze it in before they go. Anyway, <laughs> let me get to my order. Um, I'm gonna start with my just my haul and share what I picked up. Uh, as I've explained before, I did set up a monthly club under my husband's account, he has a quarterly club with a lot of fall and winter bars that are going to probably come back and come out of his club so I had he had more room than me I have three in mine but he had a lot more room for bring back my bars but I don't want to put them in there until um till till I get rid of those fall winter bars but also his club I skipped in July so I'm not getting anything till October so that's why I did this monthly so the the these some of these are in that monthly club and I'll get them July, August, maybe September, and then his club will, then I'll move them into his club and he'll get shipped in October. Makes sense? Anyway, let me get started. Um, first two, Fluffy Fleece. This is Jasmine, Sandalwood, Honeysuckle. Um, I really like this. It's really pretty soothing. It's an overnight warmer for me. I did, I did not keep this in my club. I took it out of my club. I've decided that I tried it in my bathroom and it was nice for a couple hours, but it didn't really hold its own in there. Um, it's a, it'd be nice in the bedroom, but I can warm jammy time in my bedroom. It's a little stronger. Uh, this one is a very nice overnight warmer bar though. So I have two, I have these two and that will be uh, my stock. I'll, you know, I'll rash them out with my overnight warmer. And the same with White Sands. I hummed and hawed about clubbing it. Uh, this is Jasmine, um, coconut milk and rice. It's very pretty. I warmed it in here. It was very subtle in here, and this is a small room. So I, I knew that I probably wouldn't reach for it a lot in, in spaces like this. So I did it in my overnight warmer. It was really lovely there. So I think I will use this for that 
um, I have two bars and now I have two others. I know my daughter took a bar and she quite liked it, so I may share one with her. But um, yeah, this is uh, not in my club now, so this will be my stock up. I mean, I hate to just stock up on overnight bars, warmer bars, but those were special, so I wanted to have them. Then, uh, bars that are in my club, in my monthly club for now, Cashmere Pear. Uh, cashmere Pear is like white amber, pear, a Madagascar vanilla, and then that red ginger. And this one I did warm in here, and it was a little better performer in here and very soothing. So I would, I will warm it in here. I'll warm it in my bedroom as a bedroom scent, and I would warm it in my overnight warmer. So it has a little more oomph. Now, this may not be a long haul club bar, but for now, it's in there. Um, two of Plum and White Woods. I really like this one. It is raspberry, plum, vanilla orchid, but it does have a woodiness that it's there's wood it says white wood so there is a wood note I'm betting in the background somewhere but because when I warm it it smells like a perfume wood like a I have several woody uh perfume perfumes with wood woody notes in them and this has that same element I really like it it's pretty I'm going to try warming it in my living room I think it's lovely it uh it's great in here um I'll experiment a bit it's in my club for now we'll see um, then I did um, two churro churros. Ah, uh, love this one. Uh, this is just churro or cinnamon sugar donuts, cinnamon sugar churros. Uh, it's really nice. I warmed this in my motor home. It was so lovely. And it, people are saying it's light. I think it is a little bit light, but I have mixed it with a couple of bakery things, you know, put it together with a couple of bakery things. And it really adds a lot so it's going to be a great mixer so i'm hanging on to this because it's bakery and i want to see what they bring back in the catalog for winter um like i would mix it with apple pie i would mix this with like i've mixed it you know with uh, graham cracker crunch it you know it's i mixed it with a uh, toasted marshmallow it was really good really good added a little to the toasted marshmallow and the toasted marshmallow added a bit to this it was great so I have used this like I think I got I had two bars I used one for sure I had used some of a partial bar in my uh, motor home I might have this these two and one other that's it so I need serious stock stock up I think I put two in that monthly I'll, I can't remember but it is also already in its quarterly, but I won't get my hands on it till October. So anyway, and then I'll, when I move the monthly into the quarterly, if I have a bar in both, they'll merge and I'll have two. We'll see. Um, it's it's early days yet. Uh, Vanilla Suede, this is a top 15 bar for me. This is, I bought it like crazy. Vanilla Amber, Sandalwood Spice. It's just got a suede note. It's lovely. I love this bar. This was in the club I lost, so now I have it back. Anyway, I've gone on about this one. It's definitely a keeper. It's in my club. It's in this club that I'm going to share. It's in that monthly club. So, I'm to stock up. Because nothing is more frustrating than these clubs with one bar that you only get, you know. Then, shock of all shocks, two beaches. <laughs> It's not in my club, I just hauled two. And one of the reasons I hauled two is because my friend Angie has a has a channel. Go watch her if you don't. She does a lot of mixes. She reviews mixes. She takes mixes from others and tries them out. Anyway, she had a couple of uh, recipes for beach. She mixed it with White Sands, which she recommended. And then she mixed it with Atlantic Air. And she did one to one in a cube, and she said, "And I put that in my club last year because I thought, oh, it's not going to come back, maybe." And I'm so glad I did. So it's in there, and I have a good stock of them because I hauled it all winter in my club, right? So, yeah. So I'm going to try that one. I'm excited to try that one. So I thought this will be good for the summer. I'll use it. I'll mix it with Atlantic Air. I'll mix it with White Sands. You know, try it out see what I think 
then I, I did the all to cherry vanilla again not a club bar but um I decided I decided I wanted a bit of cherry and vanilla even if I have to mix it with a vanilla like maybe I'd mix it with churro churro I don't know I I thought I, I thought I would use it in the summer and I did warm it with um red white and berry pie and it was quite nice so not a club bar but two and then I did haul two strawberry lemon cakes this was the bring back this was a scent of the month rather for March I think and it went away so when I heard that it was going away I thought well I'll stick to in here um I like this it's light but it's got a nice strawberry note and if you put it with something else plus I have two strawberry swirl in my stash that I'm going to have to use up this year and I thought between two strawberry swirls and this I'll be able to you know do lots of nice kitchen scenting this summer use them up so I'm doing project use up and these will contribute anyway that's my little haul um now I'm going to do my club this is a quarterly club this is my quarterly club and I love the bars that all every book well there's one in there that's just in there to get another one but all the rest are just like my favorites and for most of you that heard my story I did have a club a great club with all lovely lovely scents in it and my my consultant I was not a consultant then she quit and the since these rules are you roll up to the consult unless you're a consultant you can't move it your club to it rolls to the person above them and I was getting a new consultant in my city and I wanted her and she called Sensi. My old consultant that was leaving called Sensi. I called Sensi. No way. I have since moved the club under me. So I have this club under me. So I'm okay. But um, yeah, I could not get keep it. And so I had to make a call and I decided to give it up. So I gave up and I'm slowly recuperating the bars I lost. I'm still waiting for vanilla oud and uh, apple s'mores and marshmallow mint and uh, Central Park pralines. You know, I'm still waiting for those, but you know, someday. Anyway, let me get started with my club. Uh, the first bar is Black Forest Pine. This was a scent of the month in December of 2021. Balsam, pepper, tangerine, and smoked vanilla. And this is a great winter bar. It's a really good performer. It, it's, a, it's a balsam. It's got that fur balsam, but it's not overly, uh, you know, strong and, and sharp. It's not a Christmas tree scent. It's a really well blended with a smoke that smoked vanilla and a bit of pepper tangerine it's it's very nice I'll start warming this in October and I'll warm it all the way through till spring and I have I think I this is going to be bar number three so I have a few that can you know and then I'll get one in September and I'll get one in December so I'll have I'll be able to because it takes a whole bar in my living room anyway that's black forest pine spiced eggnog this was a uh, Christmas brick a couple of Christmases ago love this one it's rum clove and sp and eggnog and it, the bar smells quite rummy but when you warm it it's not it's not very rummy and there's that nice clove it smells just like eggnog it's so good and I had bricks of it two bricks of it I won't warm through those and so but I don't have extras <laughs> I think I have one spiced eggnog and uh I'll get a couple more. I know my daughter-in-law likes this one, so I'll probably gift her and my son one because I went to the, his door to drop something off at <laughs> Christmas, and then I said, oh, it smells good, and he goes, spiced eggnog. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I love this one, and I wish it would come back. Anyway, Simply Vanilla. This is a a lovely vanilla French vanilla and coconut milk it's not a bakery vanilla it's a perfumey vanilla it doesn't smell perfumey but it's like the vanilla note you would use in perfume it doesn't add anything like sort of gourmand it's just a and it's an an excellent vanilla to warm with scents to mix with scents especially scents that are perfumey or that you that you know you don't want to add a foodie element to I go through this like I stocked up 
and now I've warmed so much of it. I've warmed it in my overnight warmers. I've mixed with it. Uh, anytime I'm kind of don't know what to warm and I want something cozy, I warm it. But now I'm getting to hoard it because I think I'm down to, I think I have one bar in this one. So that whole idea of stocking up, but if you love the bar and you stock up and then it goes and you, you know, I think these girls that are doing bi-monthly clubs with their favorite favorites is smart, but I'm, I had, I didn't do that. I did two quarterlies instead, but anyway, Simply Vanilla, love it. Stargazing, oh, I love this bar. I dug out the scent Pyramid uh, when it was bring back. It was a uh, scent of the month, I think in a July, a couple of years ago. Um, the top note is iris and white flower. The mid note is cotton and the base note is sandalwood and musk. And that's exactly what you get. You get a floral at the top and then you it mellows down into a vanilla cotton and then it mellows down into a sandalwood musk. It is so nice, so nice. Um, I don't have any extra of this. I get one bar every, you know, it's been a couple of years. Um, and I have girls in my girl gang that like it. So I think I gift, you know, all of my, all of my, uh, like my daughter-in-law, my sister, my niece, my daughter, they all have sort of favorites that they like. So when it's their birthday, I, um, I pick their favorites up and gift. So anyway, no extras on that one. I'm gonna hoard that. Pink Haze, this was in the club I lost. Got it back, finally. This is raspberry, nectarine, a whipped vanilla, and marshmallow fondant. And it's so nice. I use this in the kitchen in the summer. It's a good blender. It, uh, I love it on its own. And I've, I, I have had strangers at my door ask me what smelled so good. And it was Pink Haze, so it definitely is a doozer. Uh, another favorite is Hendrix. Hendrix is patchouli. You know, I love patchouli, sandalwood, and pink pepper. And it just has that nice, even keel patchouli. Not too much, just percolates along so that you get that whiff. You know, I love that. I love, you know, if you put a little bit of patchouli oil, you know, one dab, and then it just sort of, you someone passes you by. You know, I use a natural deodorant that has patchouli in it. And then, yeah, anyway, love Hendrix. Uh, I have one bar of this and then this one. That's it. No extras. A vanilla blackberry. This was a scent of the month a couple of years ago. It's um, blackberry, amber, vanilla. And then the base, because I have the pyramid it, the base is cedar and musk so those notes aren't in the description but it's very cedar and musky and strong 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 i have i i just mentioned the scent circle is in my utility closet strong 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 long long lasting love this one it, i absolutely love it and my sister discovered it too late and she now again her birthday was in may i gifted her one i might have one more in this one. That's it. Vitamin R from the All as Well. This one should have been in the catalog. <laughs> I'm kind of mad. It's not. <laughs> um, bergamot, vanilla, sugar, and amber. It's so, so, so pretty. It's very soothing. Um, I'm going to try it in my living room again. I have warmed it in there and it was nice. It was subtle, but it, you know, once in a while you like that, but I often warm it in here. It's a, you know, a bar and it takes half a bar in here for two, my two alabaster warmers. So love this one. I wish it would have been in the, in the catalog. What did they put instead? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not this one. <laughs> it should be. Ravenclaw from Harry Potter, Wit and Wisdom. This is my house in Potter world. Love this one. This is suede, sandalwood, and vanilla. It's so, so pretty. It's really soothing, lovely, mellow. It, um, it's a beautiful blue when you put it in the warmer too. I really like it. Um, I, I think the Potter bars are coming back. I'll stock up on all of them again, but this is the only one I've clubbed. Um, I think I have maybe three of these now, three with this one. 
um, I, I'm going to warm it. I've been horning a bit because I wasn't sure if they were going to come back. And so now I've heard, I think uh, Dan hinted at it. So I can, I can warm it. <laughs> Cozy Fireside. I have this one in my club. Um, I really like it. It is just, um, I think cinnamon, ginger, and spices. And when you warm it, it smells... It smells like you had a cold, like a pot of, of you know, something, you know, like maybe a, a, a hot tea with a bunch, a whole bunch of spices and that warm. It's got a warm smell. You know, it doesn't smell like fire, but it smells like warm and the spices. It's really nice. It's a, a very good winter bar. Like I warm it at Christmas and, you know, before Christmas, but I like it in the winter time too. Now I do have, um, of course, I'm... I'm collecting them and I'm just putting them away till the fall to winter. So I'll probably end up with like three or four. And I'm going to see how much I warm it. If I warm it a lot, because this one is a heavy duty, yeah, strong one. So if I warm it a lot, uh, I'll use up a bit. Otherwise, I may consider taking this out, but I doubt it because I'm nervous that it would never come back again. It was in the sense of the season. So yeah, sometimes those come back. In another offering caramel chestnut I love this this was a Christmas brick last year oh I have two bricks but I'm still haul hauling the bars the bars are wonderful Car caramel chestnut and vanilla oh oh it's so yummy it's so it's perfect it's gonna be perfect in the fall it's a great winter I warm this in my motor home so it's even a good summer bar in the right you know with a on a rainy day yum Definitely. Uh, cinnamon pine cone. This was the scent of the month, December of 2022. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that one of these two make it into the catalog. What do you think? <laughs> this was a really nice, this was a really nice uh, scent of the month. Pine cone, balsam, and cinnamon stick. And it's got a nice sort of, a little bit of like a woodiness with the pine cone and a bit of spice, but not too much. Yeah, it's it's lovely. I really like this one. I know my girl gang really like this one too. So we'll see. I'm hoping one of those makes it back to the, makes it into the catalog. Almost done here. Not quite, I guess. <laughs> Woodland Suede. This was to bring back my bar. Last time it was, is it the one? It's This is the only one I think I still have in my club. I That's what I typically do with bring back my bars. I put them in my club, then I warm them, and then I slowly take them out because... If I have to whittle down stuff from my club, especially like a club like this, which is already at its 20, you know, I have to play hardball. I'm going to get rid of the ones that I'm not absolutely sold on. Woodland suede is so nice. It's red oak, smoky cedar, suede, lemon, and musk. It's really lovely. It's a great winter, all winter. I would warm this in the fall, and I, had, I have taken it in my camper. So I would warm that there as well. And this might, I might actually, I'm going to a music festival. They don't have power, so I won't be able to use my warmers, but I'll be able to use my tea light warmer. Um, I, I, I might use that. This would be a good one to use in a tea light warmer. It would project pretty well, I think. And now I have a couple of fall and winter bars in my club. And I, I said the majority are in my husband's. Uh, I do have a couple in mine. And... Um, these are ones I thought I would warm uh, in the summer, in the spring and summer. So I put them in mine uh, because I would get, I would, I could get them. Whereas his like club, I skipped, and so I'm not getting his till October. So I did put a couple in mine. The first one is caramel apple, and it's just delicious apple caramel and vanilla. And I know you could probably create. You know, if you had a caramel scent and then an apple scent, you could make it. But this one, it's just the right mix. So nothing gets squashed. Like the apple is there, but the caramel is just is equally there. And then that vanilla creams them together. Uh, whereas if you're making your own recipe, sometimes, it, you know, sometimes one or the other dominates a bit. This is a, this is a mix you don't have to worry about. You just do it and it's mixed. <laughs> I love this one. So I, I'm hoping it comes back. I take it out of my club. Um, we'll see. I don't know. What do you guys think? Pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Another one I could warm. In fact, I just warmed this in my house. 
uh, very nice all through my main living room and my kitchen. It's still going today. Um, this is uh, pumpkin cinnamon stick whipped vanilla and whipped icing, I mean. And it just smells like a cinnamon bun. It's not too pumpkin-y. It doesn't, in fact, I had it in my kitchen. It didn't smell pumpkin at all. It smells like a cinnamon bun with icing and a hint of, of cinnamon, not too much. So it wasn't, and it wasn't like a boomer. It was just a very nice, um, yummy background, but it wasn't cloying. It was really nice. So hope that one comes back. I can take it out of my club. And then the one I think might not come back is in my club, toasted acorn and oak. We've seen a bit of that in the clearance. This is creamy chestnut, uh, toasted acorn, creamy chestnut, golden oak. And it, it's a memory for me. It reminds me of the Christmas markets in Germany, in Berlin in particular. Uh, the smell, the smell of it. It's a buttery and toasty. It's got that toasted nut. It's really nice. So uh, definitely in my club. I'll keep it in my club if it doesn't come back, which I'm thinking it's not. A bar I stuck in my club, but it's gone now. I just wanted to haul one more was Blue Coconut Beach. And that is creamy coconut and vanilla, and I think palm leaf or something. There's a little something extra in there. And it was nice. It I warmed it in here, it was pleasant. It, it's a good bedroom uh, summer scent. Um, I don't have a lot of bedroom scents for the summer. So, um, but, or in here. And I, I thought it would be nice to have one to warm with some of the other bars that I'm gonna go through in my project use up of my summer bars. So I, I have another one, so that's two. So that'll allow me to warm them. And then I have a couple of uh, bring back my bars that are in my club and staying in my club. So I have three in my club right now and two in Kevin's quarterly. And then the, the monthly that we're waiting to decide on. Uh, two vanilla suede, which I've already talked about. <laughs> Um, Hemingway, Hemingway I love. This was in the club I lost, got it back now. Apple, sandalwood, cedar, and spice. And it's just a uh, lovely, it's definitely apple and a little bit of spice, but I don't find it super spicy. It's quite rich. It has a little bit of a masculine edge, but not in a cologne aftershave way. It's uh, more in a you know, a men's library kind of richness, that kind of uh, scent. And then the cedar, at a little teeny bit of woody note in the background. You know, um, this one I warmed, when I had it at my club previously, I warmed it in my family room and it was so, so, so perfect down there, especially in the winter. You know, you go down and watch a movie and you've got this going and the fireplace is on. It's just lovely. And then finally, ghostly greetings. <laughs> A lover hate bar. I love it. Um, it is plum, spice berry, and bourbon. It's got very plummy. It's got some spice berries. It smells like quite a bit like spice berries. That bar we had in Bring Back My Bar actually. Um, it does have patchouli because I have the the scent pyramid from when it was Bring Back uh, month uh, scent of the month. And it has patchouli in the base note. So there is patchouli in this. And maybe that's why people don't like it. I really like it. I will start warming this September and warm it all winter. Anyway, that's my club. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I will, like I say, um, get another club in September. I, there's a very little wiggle room in this. And like I said, it's slightly frustrating because all of my favorite bars are, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my limit. Um, we're going to have some exciting times come along though with uh, with the new catalog. I, I hope Sensi put some good uh, LTO bars into, the into that catalog. I noticed we, they've released the new uh, 10 new cents. Um, I, I've seen the, I've seen what they're called. I haven't seen the notes for them though. I might go snoop and see if I can find those. Um, and so there's some hints on things, but man, and I hope they don't, I hope they think about the bakery a little more. I'm hoping for that. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited for fall. It is 30 plus again here today, and I've had my house shut up. Um, I had said to everybody, or I've had a couple people who had wanted to have a, a warmer tour, and this is a 30 minute video. I was gonna wa wander through my house and do a little video of just my warmers, just quickly, No, you know, nothing too elaborate. Um, I'll see if I can film it in less than like, you know, 10 minutes. <laughs> if I can, I'll attach it to this video. <laughs> if you don't see it, it's because I couldn't manage to keep it short enough. So anyway, we'll see. It, you may see it, you may not. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it'll be just short and sweet, uh, just to show you my summer setup for things. Anyway, thanks so much. Uh, I appreciate your support, and I, you guys have such kind words. I've loved, loved your comments. You've been so good to me. I appreciate it so much. And uh, have a good summer. Enjoy yourself, and uh, stay safe. And you know, hope hope things go well. And let's all gather again in fall for uh, exciting I mean I'm sorry for those people who spring and summer people <laughs> for us fall people it's exciting and it for me it's the best time of year to warm because you don't have air conditioning it, your house is more closed it you know it's just so much easier anyway thanks so much and we'll see you later and again if you see it my tour, you know I did it. If you don't see it, it's because I couldn't stop talking like I am right now. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Okay, let's see if we can get this warmer tour, tour done in 10 minutes. Okay, here is my foyer. And in my foyer, I always have a warmer here on this bureau. And this is the pearlescent petals for summer. I really think that's pretty and it's nice and bright. And yeah, I really like it into my living room and uh, I have a warmer over here the first one on this shelf here with some decor and it is the blue twirl warmer which I absolutely love I love the pattern it's almost like art in this corner I think uh, I really love it anyway uh, Moving around, again, I have my trays. I always have trays on my table with um, just the center sort of my decor. And under my table over there, I have a, a lantern that I really like with a flameless candle. Out my living, living room window, it's a very, very hot day. And usually I have my blinds pulled down, but I needed the light for the film. Over here, is my credenza and I have two warmers on this this is an old one I think it's called ocean mosaic or something I've had it for ages anyway I have that it does really well and I always bring it out in the summertime it has these little glass tiles which I love highly recommend if you ever find that in a thrift store or somewhere uh, there's a white base on it, so it goes, it looks summery. And then on the other side of the credenza, I have my Dragonfly Away. I most always have a flameless candle behind my warmer here. I, I switch them out for the season. So let me back up here. Those are my two warmers in the living. So now I'm in the dining room. Uh, you'll recognize this buffet. I, I film at the table there and it's often in my background. Uh, I have one warmer in here and it is the In the Clouds warmer. I've had this for quite a few years, but it was in the um, clearance not long ago. It's very, very pretty. And in the winter I put a blue bulb in it and it's lovely. Anyway, um, I have it here lit mainly for like ambiance, but to the problem here where I live, Southern Alberta, I live about an hour uh, from the US border uh, and it stays light so long here. My husband is in Ontario right now. He took a picture of himself sitting on the porch at his daughter's house 
at 10 o'clock and it was dark. So at 10 o'clock, I took a picture outside our window and sent it to him and said, it's the light here. And I'm not sure why, but anyway, it doesn't get dark. So most of my like evening accent lights, you know, aren't that useful in the summer. Another reason I like fall better. Uh, it stays light until after 10 easily. And if you go to bed even by 11, you don't get very much time to enjoy any kind of lighting ambiance. Anyway, here's my backyard. I did a tour last year of my backyard. It's up on my YouTube channel. But um, here's my fountain. Uh, my husband's been away, so uh, he has to come home and cut the grass. <laughs> and this is my, I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty sunny, uh, patio, my cupboard patio that I always talk about. Anyway, on to the kitchen. I have three warmers in my kitchen. Uh, this is my latest purchase and it's the Be Kind warmer and I had that in mind. I have this um, little pot with bees on it and those little mushrooms my sister gave me for my birthday part of her present. Anyway, I love that warmer and it does really well, it performs really well. I get it from this angle. Really, really pretty. I love white warmers in the summer. So Let's keep going here and down here I have I think this was called birds of a feather I got it a, a couple years last summer or the summer before the last summer I think in clearance and I really like it it performs really well it's an element warmer but it lights up and it really does perform well my green bananas <laughs> And then over here, I have my free to fly. I think that one's so pretty. I love it. It looks like a watercolor when you look at it, like it's been painted by a watercolor. So I have three warmers in my kitchen. That's them. Peek into my bedroom, master bedroom. I have the um, Aziza warmer here, which I'm really liking. Uh, I have gray accents in my bedding so it's a perfect um, warmer for that and then over here another favorite which is um, the dream catcher and I love that one. Oh, I should show off since I'm a big advocate of the overnight warmer <laughs> I'll go and show you um, my side table and there it is got wax in it when I, it goes for two nights then on the in the on the morning after the second night I just leave it on and then at night I change it again so this will get changed tonight and this is cashmere pear in there anyway that's the bedroom going into the lady parlor just show you quickly my light this is the desk where all my waxes that I was filming earlier this is my dad's radio that he bought in Germany a little cork board with all my treasures from my grandchildren um, over here you can tell I like peace signs <laughs> anyway I've had a few viewers comment on that <laughs> anyway let's look at the warmer that's why we're here so I have alabaster warmers on both sides of my TV you know I like to I like them to match in here I don't know why so I have a one for the winter um, night sky warmer and both sides in the winter and in the summer I have my alabaster. I love these warmers. They're great performers. They're so elegant, really nice. Anyway, my granddaughters are gonna come. I'll move them up to this level. They're old enough now that they won't touch them, but better safe than sorry. So I'll put them up there. I have a couple other treasures in my collections. Oh, see another peace sign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another piece. <laughs> anyway, that's my Peek at my laundry area. I talk about it. Um, I have uh, my laundry chute closet here. Uh, this is my ironing board. Anyway, <laughs> my stepdad built that in. It's really handy. <laughs> this is my mini that I have out right now. Uh, and I use it a lot for like a kind of a, a light if my people are in, in my house, in my family room and need to find their way to the loo or something. They 
have a little bit of light. Just some decor things. My Sensi, my daughter did these art, these pictures when she was young. And I have a couple of cats, wooden cats, the only kind of cats I can have. <laughs> anyway, um, in my, uh, this is my warmer down here. I have this for the summer. It is, it was the charitable cause a couple of years ago. It's really cute. I think it's kind of Scandi looking. I like it. Another piece of art from one of my children. Uh, this, I store things like light bulbs, batteries, um, wrapping paper, that sort of thing. My treasured Dyson hanging here. <laughs> and uh, my husband did a, a basket for all the accessories. Anyway, that's my laundry room. Well, we're in our family room, last leg of the tour. Uh, this is my bar corner. <laughs> And here I have the Stargaze Warmer, which I love. And I put this out here because it reminds me of fireworks in the summer. And I thought my granddaughters would get a kick out of it. Uh, there's my drum light. My son-in-law repurposes old drums, makes them into lights. Anyway, let's go around the corner. I'm trying not to make you guys dizzy. <laughs> anyway, here's the rest of the room. And the first warmer, other warm I have in here is the Glimmer and Glow. I really like this warmer. I typically use it in the winter, but because it has fairy lights inside, I thought my granddaughters would like this one. So I put that out there. They'll come down here and hang out and play. So, and over here, I bring this warmer out every year when they come. This I've had a long time, actually, since Natalie was a little, little toddler. Uh, he is a garden gnome. I think he was a warmer of the month way back. Anyway, he's really cute. Look at that little face. Anyway, he doesn't throw a light, but he does the back out of the back of his hat. And the, the hat lifts off. But I do find that it scents okay with all the holes. Anyway, he's out there to keep them company. And then across the room, and there, that's the, my wall of books that I talk about and my TV. And over here, I have uh, my Baby Yoda warmer. I don't often put wax in because I forget to turn him off. I just love him and his little hands. He's so cute. Anyway, this is my nerd corner. <laughs> I have my Star Trek insignia feature and it's in a, it's in a, it, it's hanging on the wall in a frame, but it opens up so you can actually handle them if you want. <laughs> and I am quite a Trekkie because here's my collection of stamps and I have a couple pins and my bobblehead. <laughs> I had to take the battery out because he talks <laughs> and it was driving everybody crazy. Uh, and there's the Enterprise, my Oscar trophy. Anyway, um, my last acquisition was. Um, Hogwarts, which I got for my birthday, and there's Haggard's house down there. Anyway, I love that. I think it's so cute. And one of my viewers had sent me a picture of her uh, Hogwarts um, warmer, and she had got, got hardcover volumes of the Harry Potter books. And I look for hardcover. I can't find them. But I did have already this sort of box set of a paperback. So I thought, well, that'll work. And so I display it on there. Anyway, that's the warmers down here. Um, hope this was enjoyable. <laughs> Thanks for letting me tag it on at the end. I hope it was under 10 minutes. I'll have to go figure it out while I decide whether to put it onto the video. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.